Woods. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Jerry Harvey from Jerry Harvey Audio. We're at our, our manufacturing facility and R&D facility in Orlando, Florida. And there's been a lot of questions about what freak phase does and, you know, what phase correct is. So I want to just give you a demonstration on a mid and high circuit on a tester that we actually use every day to test production phase and all of those things. So what we've done is I've set up two circuits and they're exactly the same crossover networks. The only thing I've done is I've made one, one circuit that actually is like everybody else builds with all the front of the, the, the drivers are in parallel, which means that the low mids and highs are out of time. We're just wanna, we're only going to focus in on the mid and high section so you can really see what it does at the crossover point. But basically, if you build an in-ear monitor that are multi-driver with different time signatures and you put those components parallel in the front and put the equal length tubes on it and not stagger, the, stagger them in time so that the, the components low, mid, and high arrive in time, you have serious cancellation issues at the crossover point that you can't fix with equalization or moving the crossover. So what I'm going to show you is if you look at this circuit, this would be a typical circuit that one of the competitors would build. Everything's in parallel. This is our much more elaborate crossover than what they got. But anyway, it's the same crossover on both. This is just showing with and without freak phase. So this is how the competitors build an earpiece. And this is what the freak phase waveguide looks like before it's put in the earpiece. You can see the low and the mid. The mid's a little bit faster, so it's a little bit longer than the, than the low. And you can see that the high frequencies is extremely fast, so it has to be much longer to arrive at the same time as the low and the mid. So let me show you this right now. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, the mid and high when I put this on. So if you look here, this is the phase curve, and we're looking uh, about 1K, 1K to 20K out here. So I'm gonna show you. So this is with freak phase. And you can kind of see it before and after here. So, so this is with freak phase. So it's going on. So what you can see is right now, because of the, all of the components being in time, that the phase curve is very flat. So that means there's no interaction between the mid driver and the high driver. And you can see this blue line is the same line. So the blue line is, is this earpiece. So you can see right on the blue line, that's a frequency response going out way past 20K with no phase in it. This is where the crossover point. So you can see there's no interaction between the two. This is a high driver and this is the mid driver. So the blue line is the freak phase circuit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the freak phase circuit off and same crossover, same everything, but just putting the components in parallel. Now you're going to see what happens if you don't do use freak phase. Okay, so now what you see is that 4K, it starts to rise. By right here, we're 90 degrees out of phase, and here we're 180 degrees out of phase, which means that's a severe phase cancellation between the crossover points. So if you look here, you can see that we have about minus uh, minus two, probably about a minus 10 or a minus 11 phase cancellation at just above 4K, 4K2, something like that. So anyway, and it's very broad. You can see it starts here. Let me get it lined up again there. It starts here and it starts here. So this whole area has a phase cancellation in it that you can't really correct with, um, with uh, crossover points or anything like that. And also where you see it is right here about nine or 10K, you see another phase cancellation coming in here. And then you see it right out here past 15, 16K, it starts to dive down where the other circle went out and kept going past 20K. So, and this is just what happens when it's in that ear. This is just the speaker components that are having issues. But what happens is if you, in the center of your skull, when the left earpiece and the right earpiece, uh, where the left earpiece, left earpiece and the right earpiece you know, meets in the center of your skull, that cancellation becomes very apparent because then those highs are almost 180 degrees out of phase. So that's why if most, a lot of earpieces, you'll hear mids and then you'll hear the top frequencies kind of smeared like this. That's because the two speakers that are out of phase are interacting in the center of your skull. So that's why we use freak phase technology. And what's really crazy is all the patents that I've had granted, it went through the fastest. It only took eight months to get that patent granted because the patent office looked at it and said, oh yeah, this is, you know, very obvious, so they gave us a patent. So I hope I shed a little bit light on, on what a phase correct earpiece is and what freak phase does for your in-ear monitors. Thanks a lot.